You're watching the players now. When you want Vegas, PlayersNetwork.com brings Vegas to you. Gambling excitement, the hottest shows, and the wildest nightlife. On demand, anytime you want. Sin City, baby. PlayersNetwork.com. Chat live with sexy Vegas showgirls, celebrities, and the world's greatest poker players. PlayersNetwork.com. Where your Vegas fantasies come true. My name is Antonio Restivo. Uh, I play the Lord Vampire in Bite at the Stratosphere in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been in the show two and a half years now. Um, originally came to see the show uh, as a spectator. Uh, everybody told me that I had a great look and that I should be in the show, and I had no clue what they were talking about, so I came to see the show. Lord Vampire, Antonio Restivo is a classic Lord Vampire. Even when he, the first time he came to the show as a, a patron, as a paying guest, people stopped him and asked him if he was in the show. And luckily enough, uh, Tim Molyneux, the producer of the show, was in the audience that night. Uh, went and had a chance to meet him and, and talk to him, and we clicked and had a good vibe and a good energy together. And within a month, I was in rehearsal. And uh, a month after that, I was in the show. I have a, a, a background in fire. I'm actually a, a fire performer. I eat, breathe, spin fire. Um, and I was, I moved to Vegas to study magic and to work on magic. And when I met Tim, uh, I gave him my background, auditioned for him, uh, showed him what I can do, and together we, we talked about what he wanted to see in the show and what I wanted to bring to the show, and found a really happy medium of magic and and those type of elements for the show. For me, it's making sure that I'm physically in shape. I'm, you know, really conscious of my body, um, always conscious of my props and what I do and what I bring to the show. Um, when I get here, um, I go through a total transformation backstage. I, I don't, I don't hang out with everybody. I kind of am in my own spot. I do my own thing, and I try to get focused and, and really uh, be present for the show. Um, because every night it's a live show, so it, it's always a little different for me. I walk through the audience and nobody knows I'm there, and I have this way of walking through where people don't know I'm there until I'm right behind them. And I've had people scream, I've had people curse, I've had people cry, hit me, uh, people yell El Diablo and run out of the theater, and that just tickles me to no end. I love that. They bring people up on stage, and half the people up on stage are truly people from the audience, and the other half are members of our cast. And the best part for me is nobody on stage who comes from the audience realizes that at some point they're going to have to interact with me. I love working with the girls. They, they bring so much to the show. Uh, really high energy dancing, uh, really phenomenal performers, um, and they're a lot of fun to work with. Um, a lot of the elements in the show, I have to say, are, are really exciting, um, like working with the queen, um, working with the singer, you know, working with Case and Katie. Um, and most people look at me and say, well, 
you're the luckiest guy around. You work with eight beautiful topless women every night, but you don't even see that. The Queen and I have uh, fantastic chemistry together. We have really good um, energy together. And the first, I don't know, four or five months we did the show together, uh, people would always just assume that we were together and say, well, how could you not be together? How could you not, you know, uh, you guys must be. And it was like, no, we're just really close, we're really friends. But whoever steps into that role, um, we have to vibe, we have to, you know, have a, a really phenomenal energy together, otherwise it doesn't work. Case and I have a really good energy together. We worked for probably a good solid month uh, working on choreography for the fight and working on that together. And um, it's amazing because sometimes we, we really get into it because we're in those two character roles. And you know, sometimes we, you know, will slip here or there, and then I'll run backstage. And I'll say, "Are you okay?" Or he'll run backstage. And say, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I did this, and you know, it's it's because we're in that moment, we're in that vibe, and, and we really, you really get to a point where you really feel the character, and you have to because if you're not in the role every night, something will slack, and somebody really will get hurt because you'll you'll take a break from something, and somebody will get hurt in it. So every night we're giving it 100%, and it's 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 live every night for us. Before, uh, before I came to the show, I owned a home just west, western North Carolina in the mountains of North Carolina. And the county I lived in is Transylvania. And I moved here from Transylvania to do the show. And people always say to me, well, where'd you come from? And I tell people that I moved here from Transylvania to do the Vampire Show. He actually becomes, uh, at night, I mean, his whole world, his house, I don't know if you have a chance to see his house on tape or not, but. He's got the candles and the gothic people and statues everywhere and, and bats and things flying around that he actually lives his whole life. My bed is a custom made bed uh, and it's in the shape of a bat. Uh, I do have a coffin in my house. Um, on Monday nights, you know, I have friends come over and we do fire, we play together and we have fun. But when you actually meet him as a person, he's one of the most kind, gentle people that you'll ever meet. I. I I believe in the lifestyle and the fact that um, I believe we're all eternal beings. Um, and I love the mythology and the history and the, and the romance uh, of the show, of the production of vampires. This has been a presentation of Players Network.